because I'm just putting a fleece out right now, okay? You got the picture. If we want to do the same as our personal heroes of faith, the characters in the Bible, the prior generations, the people who are in books that are on this shelf over here, these guys, God's generals, you want to get challenged in your faith, go read this. I guarantee it'll scare you what some of these guys got up to. There's, there's at least two in here that I want their anointing. It's just to get you going. At least two of them I want to experience and live in the realm they lived in. And then build from there. What's the point of just repeating it? Let's go do something new. If we want to do what our heroes of faith in the Bible did, I, want, I just wish I was like, I just wish I could do, I wish I could have an experience like that, then we have to encounter the Lord at the same level that they did. I remember a, a minister years ago saying, somebody walked up to him, I mean, he, he in the 80s was really moving, somebody came up to him and said, I wish I could have your anointing. He said, you can you can have my anointing. Just pay the price. And they went away disappointed. That was the rich young ruler. Oh, you can do all. I want to do this. I want to do that. He says, you can. Just go and give everything away. Provoked him where his... It wasn't about the money. It was about where his heart was. Money's irrelevant to God. Do you know Jesus was rich? i just throw that out there. I mean, he's wealthy. This whole poverty thing came out in the dark ages. I'll show you that tomorrow. He was rich. Only people who were incredibly wealthy had seamless garments. So valuable, they weren't going to cut it up. They cast lots for it. That's not the sign of a pauper. I mean, any of you in business, I mean, Cockery's an administrator. You don't go helping yourself to, not that he does, you don't go helping yourself in business to the company till, put your hand in the bank account, unless there's a lot there that they won't notice it's missing. Mm -hmm. Give you a different illustration, youngsters. Well, we're all kids once, so let's just get there, okay? If there were only two cookies in the cookie jar, you didn't steal one. If the cookie jar was full, mum wasn't going to notice so you could help yourself. Same principle with Judas. There was so much in there, they wouldn't miss a few shackles going missing. He was a thief. Scripture says, just like his father, the devil. I mean, how about that one for an exhortation? Just, we've got to get, meet Jesus at the same level. We've got to pay the same price in order to get that anointing. And most of our heroes in faith had time in the pit. Read the book. Read, read the characters in the Bible. Most of them had time in the pit. Joseph went from favoured son to the pit, to favoured servant, to the prison, to the palace, and saved the nation. Daniel. Oh yeah, Daniel. Great guy. Wish I could have his anointing. Well, he almost became lion food. And as for his best friend, Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego, they nearly went up in smoke. Hello. Yep. How do you feel about carrying, I forget whose anointing it was, where he was told to go and marry a prostitute? And then the other one that said, sleep on your side naked in front of everybody for six months, and then turn over and sleep on your other side for the next six months. I mean, maybe we don't want that anointing. <laughs> you know? It's one of the minor prophets. Every, everybody, you know, Jesus from the literal pit to the palace, Joshua, Joseph, sorry, from the literal pit to the palace to the prison. Moses went from the palace to the wilderness to the palace to the wilderness. <sighs> Jacob wrestled God and limped for the rest of his life. Now, how about that for a successful Christian? Hobbling around the rest of his life. What happened to you? I met God. Yeah, right. Pull the other one, it's got bells on. You know? It's just like, <laughs> it's not just black ink on a white page. These are real people. You know, poor old Moses. I think that's 40 years learning to be somebody in the palace of Pharaoh. 
40 years in the wilderness learning to be nobody. 40 years back in the wilderness learning what God could do with an nobody. That's called being transformed by the renewing of your mind. Learning that you are a nobody and then watching what God can do with a nobody. Every single one of those characters in the heroes of faith in, 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 he in Hebrews 11 needed a character change and so with us. I mean, how about this? Wouldn't you have loved Jesus to come up to you and say this? He, he says it to Peter. Satan wants to sift you. But it's okay, Peter. And Peter's like, ready, it's okay. He's rebuked the devil again. He says, I've prayed for you. Like, but God, it's a bit like me. New level's great, but you can keep the devils. What do you mean you've prayed for me? What about rebuking the devil and he'll flee? Resisting temptation, all of this stuff. He says, no, Peter, Satan's come to sift you and I haven't told him. No, I've just said I've prayed for you. If you, if, I put this in my notes. If you're not going through it right now, you have been warned. Every single one of us has gone through it. Many of us are still going through it right now. To whom much is given, much is also required. There's a qualification process. I, I use this one, it's not in my notes. Is my Bible there? This is, this is in Isaiah. How many of you like that scripture? No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Is that you all claim that one, eh? You all think, what's coming next? You're wising up to me, aren't you? I've got to find it again now. I should have written this one down because they found it. This is where having an internet connection in the church is a real blessing. Do you know my favorite website? Do you want to know what my favorite website is? BibleGateway.com. <laughs> 54, 54, 17. Oh, he's faster than the internet. There you go. Isaiah 54. Oh, yes, there we go. Isaiah 54, 17. Close the internet down before I get distracted. No weapon formed against you shall, shall prevail or prosper. You will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And this is their vindication from me. How many of you like that verse? Yeah? How many of you have quoted that verse time and again? Yeah? You all know what's coming. So go on, just put your hands up anyway. Because you're all... Whoops. Sorry about that. It's all right, we'll pray for you afterwards. <laughs> I'm out of the battery. 